I like to discuss the motivation of having higher level. For example, okay, we always want to move from BPSK to QPSK, maybe to 8 or even 16 PSK. So this is actually the motivation. Okay, so these two diagram shows the constellation diagram. Let's focus on the BPSK first. So when the data is actually equal to zero, we actually has a phase shift of zero to indicate this data zero. So when the data is actually one, so we actually have this phase shift of 180 degree to indicate data is equals to one. So now imagine I have this eight bit of data to send from transmitter to receiver. And basically when the first data is zero, I will have a phase shift of zero to show it to you. So imagine you are sitting right in front of this constellation diagram. By looking at the location okay, of the constellation diagram, I will know the message is either one or zero. For example, now the message is zero. The dot will appear here. So I know the message is zero. The next one message is still zero. It will still appear over here. So I will actually jot down another zero. So next is actually one. So actually they will appear 180 degree phase shift. So again from here, I know that the message is equals to one. So from here you can see that if I have eight bits of data and if every data actually require one second okay, to appear in the constellation diagram. So from here I can conclude that I will need 8 seconds to represent this 8 bit of data. So now let's come to the QPSK. So for QPSK, for example, when the data is 0, 0, okay, I will have a phase shift of 0. When the data is 0, 1, I will have a phase shift of 90 degree to indicate data of 0, 1. And when the data is 1, 0, I will have a phase shift of 270 degree or minus 90 degree to show the data is 1, 0. And last but not least, when data is actually 1, 1, okay, I will have a phase shift of 180 degree to indicate that. So now, again, with the same set of data, so every bit over here, you can see that I actually can represent two bits. For example, now, when the message to represent will be 0, 0, so the dot will appear here to indicate the message 0, 0, so I jot down the message 0, 0, and when the message is 1, 0, it will appear at this dot on the constellation diagram, so I will know that the message is 1, 0, and this thing happened on and on. So again, okay, every time when the dot appear at the constellation diagram, okay, it will be 1 second. So with this format, QPSK, you can see that the time to receive the same set of bits actually reduce from 8 seconds to 4 seconds. So therefore, you can imagine that if I'm able to put more dots onto this constellation diagram, then I will have a better throughput. So basically, this is actually the motivation of having higher level okay, to achieve better throughput. With this, again, if you need more information, please see the playlist under the description.